Hello, this week's vlog comes to you from Iceland. Hang on, I'm going to turn around and show you things. Come with me, come with me. See, behind me is a lake and emptiness and keep moving, keep moving, keep moving you. And then behind us is lava hills and it's, um, isn't it amazing? It's absolutely beautiful. So I've been in Reykjavik, which was lovely, um, but now we are in the wilds. And in fact, it's not even that much of the wilds. It's only about an hour's drive from Reykjavik, but it is just, it is so clean and beautiful and odd. It's a bit like being on another planet. It looks kind of, you'd be looking at mountains and things and you'd be thinking they're lovely, but there's something a bit off about them, a bit strange, like we've never seen things like that before. Um, it has been amazing here. The people are delightful. And I read something which explained all of Iceland to me. Icelandic people think Iceland is the best country in the world. They think the men are the strongest, the women are the most beautiful, the drinking water is the best, the, the, the quality of life is, is the best. And it's very rare. Like, I mean, I love Ireland, as you know, but I never stop giving out about it. And it's just unusual for people to think, I am so lucky I am from the best place in the world. And it gives them a kind of a great, a solid sense of themselves to go out and live in the world. Okay, and now I'm in a place called Pingviller, which is uh, where the two tectonic plates meet, where the American and the Eurasian are meeting. I'm going to show you a fissure, turn around, you see? See all of that? That's the two tectonic plates, and they are moving apart at the rate of two centimeters a year. And that's why Iceland is so uniquely um, uh, prone to volcanoes and everything, because it, it's it's open, it's open to the to the middle of the earth and that's why things are always erupting here and new islands are being formed. This is also the place where, maybe for the same reason, that the first Icelandic parliament was set up in 1900-ish. Uh, sorry, 930, 9, uh, 930, I'm sorry, uh, me head. See that there? That is the site where they used to make the laws and I've decided I am going to make some laws. Uh, in my country, there will be Percy Pig vouchers available according to need and your need isn't determined financially but how much you love Percy Pigs and pink things and sugar. And, uh, and I would also nationalise the magnum industry so that magnums would be available for very cheap. And I'm thinking of other laws as well. Um, but nice things. I, I stand on a platform of nice things for the people. The people deserve nice things and I want to be known as Taoiseach Marion the Generous. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, himself said that I look like Liam Gallagher in this regard. Hang on, I have to do my hair and all, but like, today is going to be the day. Was I like him? A bit too much. Oh really, hold on a second. Am I like him? Hello, now I'm in a lava field. I am up a hill. Him there made me come up and we are having together time. I am doing what he likes to do. Um, and I'm standing on funny stuff called lichen or lichen and it's really weird it's sort of bouncy and and funny and uh, and lovely and okay do you see all the water around me that water is hot do you see that the, there's pools do you see there's smoke coming that's steam do you see and further back and then over here that's all steam from the from the the springs it's amazing and i can't put my hand into that there water because it's between 80 and 100 degrees and if I did I'd get burnt and I'd have to go to the hospital and nobody wants that but it is so odd it is counterintuitive you know we expect water to be cold outdoor water you know it's just it's amazing it is so strange it is very otherworldly we've been walking around along talking about is it astrophysics we've been talking about other planets and stuff like that because being here just makes you think about things like that. And now I am by a beautiful lake and you hear it laughing away there, lovely. And the water is so clear and crystal because it's cold, do you see? And it's home to three fishes. The trout, the arctic char and some other yolk. I read a long boring thing about it. Um, but it's all just so lovely and... Uh, hold on, there is a car coming, but it is mostly very remote. And uh, all around here, kind of hidden in behind the trees and stuff, is Boku de Summer Houses. Um, the fancy uh, rich people from the Reykjavik come up here um, and spend their nice weather days here. 
and Bjork allegedly has a, has a house around here. Um, I think she's fabulous. I love her, always loved her. Um, so there we are. So anyway, yes, Iceland, it is astonishing. It is amazing. It is unique. Um, it is spendy. Uh, you'd have to be careful. I am not careful. I am a, a feckin' idiot. A, the, a fool and her money was soon part, are soon parted, as old woman says about me. But if you came and you stayed in an Airbnb and you went to a, an ordinary person's supermarket, you could do it a lot cheaper than staying in um, spendy hotels. But you should come because it's just, it's very beautiful and the people are very lovely. And it's not like anywhere else. And, uh, and I'm here for like another five or six days and we're going to see volcanoes and and he's going on some midnight hike um, because the sun doesn't set. Anyway, yes, Iceland, it is fabulous. Uh, but I will be back in Dublin next Monday. And in the meantime, I hope you have a lovely week. Adios. Bye bye. Thanks.